Tech team. In the last video, we learned how to create uh, exploratory data analysis in Rapid Miner. In this video, we try to identify top five variables that could be influencing the target attribute. In the given data, the target attribute is MEDV, median value of occupied homes, owner occupied homes in dollar thousands. Okay. So this is the target uh, label value and uh, we need to identify among these 13 variables what are the top five variables that will be influencing median value so it is mentioned here uh, to, uh, to select to select either correlation analysis or like here it is mentioned you might also look into running correlations and chase cutters to uh, as appropriate to determine which variables contribute most to the predicting median values so we can run correlation analysis and we can identify top five variables that is uh, contributing to uh, predict about median value okay so for this purpose uh, what we do like uh, we need to generate correlation analysis so now what we do is like um, let us remove this one where it is here it is so let us remove this extract aggregates thing uh, otherwise we can create a new file okay so this is a new blank file mm okay here what we do is uh, again we extract data okay got it then uh, correlation for correlation function we need to search correlation function okay here correlation covariance and we got like we need we have like a lot of uh, functions over here among them we take correlation matrix function okay got it then need not to do anything just uh, create a link between these two things means this data is flowing into the inputs of correlation matrix function and uh, we will be extracting output and uh, we need matrix right so we will be taking matrix if you want weight you can also add take weights but matrix is enough for us even we don't know this one we don't want extracts also we just need correlation matrix output okay so what we do like we just run this one then automatically we get this kind of matrix this is correlation matrix it establishes relationship between different attributes in the given document so it identifies every single fields correlation and its combination with all other fields in the given data so for example if you see it establishes relationship between correlation attribute to attribute one and attribute one so when attribute one has the ability 100 percent ability to predict about attribution one otherwise attribute one can be calculated by using one into attribute one attribute one can be calculated by 0 0.401 into crim value crime value attribute one can be calculated by using zn into minus one point see this is how it is influencing it is negatively influencing the attribute one and to what extent it is influencing minus 0 0.103 okay this is how we calculate so based on these values we can identify see for example if you take attribute one let us see column by using column okay for if you take attribute one so it got a lot of uh, correlations with all other attributes in the data so when you click see you want to cross check based on the size of the value you want to cross check to what extent each and every attribute of the table is influencing attribute one okay when you check this you got all these values based on the value <clears throat> see for example to identify the correlation with the target label target variable we ignore positive or negative we focus on the size of the value for example if you take our median values this is here okay ignore about median one so it will be definitely one next uh, what is the most influencing variable among this list it is six nine five what is the largest value it is minus seven four seven three eight this is the most correlated value though it is negatively correlated means it is, it is negatively correlated when uh, when uh, i stat value increases med value decreases so this is negatively correlated but still this is the top contributing value next contributing value is rm value again next contributing value is 508 this is pt ratio next it is index next it is tags next it is nox value next it is crim value next it is zn value maybe rad value next it is 
age value next it is zn value in this way like see we depend on value and we explain that whether it is positively correlated or negatively correlated whatever it is based on the size we decide exact correlation correlation top influencing variables within the list of the variables that are given okay so considering this these values medv value is most influenced by factors such as istat pt ratio rm value and uh, index value and tax value these are the top five variables that influences medv value okay so i, I hope you guys understood this is they are correlated with they are highly correlated with med value for regression analysis we choose these top five values okay so rather than see what we do is like because of these correlations we can say that by using top five variables we can predict about median median value so it, it is not necessary to consider that as values that are least correlated with the target variable for example if you take here it is 0 0.175 that is least correlated with the median value so when it is not having a proper and highly if it is not highly correlated with the given or like target variable it is not necessary to include it because we can identify or predict the value by using highly correlated values okay so this is what we need to write in this document see we we produce this screenshot and we try to explain that these are the top five variables that are highly correlated with the target variable so these variables can be considered for predicting about the MEDV value okay that is how we deal with this task hope you guys understood please cross check this one and write it proper thank you guys see i arranged it in ascending or descending order maybe like based on the details that are available otherwise because then to cross check the value it will be difficult So I arranged it in ascending or descending order. I guess I arranged it in ascending order. Please cross check and identify names. You can don't say I stat. If you mention that I stat is top influencing variable, what is mean by I stat should be cross checked from the document. Here it is uh, percentage lower stat of population is the most correlated value with median value of owners occupied. In that way we should write. Okay, so please write it properly. Thank you guys.